Hey everyone, it's Bale Shop back on another video, and today we're going to be going over the top 10 community voted characters for PvP. I recently did this for PvE, and a lot of you wanted to see the PvP version, so here it is. You all voted, and we're going to go over the top 10 picks, and then I'm going to go over my top 10 later on in the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and let's jump right into it. All right, just a few things before we jump into the honorable mentions. The first thing is that I ended up getting about 60 responses on this uh, survey. I ended up mixing offense and defense because of that. I didn't have a crazy amount of responses like I did for the PvE list. So some characters are going to be better on arena offense than they are on defense. The second thing is that this is going to be from perspectives all over the community, uh, from early, mid to end game. So I want to just get a overall perspective. This isn't like an exact top 10 list. Uh, I will give you that, or at least my opinion at the end. Uh, I just wanted to see what the community perspective is out there on the PvP list. So let's go ahead and jump into our uh, bottom five, I guess, the 15th through 11th, the honorable mentions. I'll just quickly go over these five uh, because they are not officially on the top 10, but came very close. Number 15 is going to be Lightwing Zack at 15 votes. Number 14 is going to be Crazed Urzag at 16 votes. Number 13 is going to be Valyria, also at 16 votes. Number 12 is going to be Godfrey at 18 votes. And number 11 is going to be Dark and Niklaus at 19 votes. Let's go ahead and quickly just run through these honorable mentions. First thing is number 15, uh, Lightwing Zack. I'm not surprised to see him, uh, you know, near the top 25 or around that place. I don't think he's quite top 15. I personally have had poor experience with him. He's a solid offense character, but you do need quite a bit of good gear for him. Um, 14, Crazer Zack. Actually, I am pretty high on Crazer Zack as well. I like to see him here. Uh, he does a decent amount of damage as well as just constantly hitting and stripping. I think he's going to be very, very solid for RTA coming in the future. Number three, turn 13 Valyria here. Not surprised to see her on the list as well. Just an amazing, amazing uh, AoE DPS and oftentimes will counter one of the strongest characters in Arena, in my opinion, and that's Mephasia uh, because she is the positive affinity against her. Number 12 at Godfrey. Uh, not surprised to see him. Honestly, I'm surprised he's not a little higher uh, because he is just a PvP specialist. Uh, he is a specific counter to a lot of characters in the meta. So very, very solid for PvP. And number 11 at Dark in the Clouds, very surprised to see him this low on the list. I think he's an amazing character and definitely, definitely very underrated for both PvE and PvP. Um, but that's going to be the honorable mentions. And let's go ahead and jump into the top 10 here. Uh, first off, we're going to start through the 10 and through 8th slot. Number 10 is going to be Orion at 21 votes. Number 9 is going to be Nathalia at 24 votes. Number 8 is going to be Lunar Melisa at 25 votes. So here we have the first three of our top 10. First thing is Orion being this low is almost criminal. <laughs> I am very, very surprised to see Orion uh, this, this low. Uh, I think that this is not necessarily a, um, you know, personal perspective. Orion is just so massive for Arena, not only for the fact that you have an amazing AoE damage dealer that has elemental affinity all the time, but the simple fact that he's an LD unit, and a couple of weeks ago, they gave a 30 precision boost to LD units in uh, when they're you know damaging any LD unit. 30 precision is massive for Arena. It basically removes agility from the equation 90% of the time. And that's what makes Orion so strong for Arena because agility-based builds and things like that are completely moot when you use someone like Orion. And he can just cut through anyone with that elemental advantage. Definitely, definitely very strong. And I think he's just going to be underrated because a lot of people have not used him. He's an LD unit. Not surprised there. Number nine at Nathalia. I think this is honestly a solid spot for her. I think she's excellent damage dealer in Arena. One of the strongest and pairs really well with some of the other characters on this list. But uh, she is an AoE damage dealer. And I think that generally um, there's a lot of those in the game. Uh, and she's just kind of one to choose from. But definitely one of the better ones. The only problem is I think that water-based uh, damage dealing is kind of a little bit of a downside oftentimes. Because really the only fire character you're going to be hitting typically in arena is going to be brand and so it would be nice to see uh someone like you know evra or someone like valeria up here because 
uh, you want to take out those really critical Hakrins and Methasias, especially the Methasias, so that they don't revive. Um, and then number eight, Luna Reliza. I'm actually uh, surprised to see her this high, but she is a very, very solid character. Giving that AoE taunt on everyone is very, very good for stalling out the battles. So not too surprised to see her at number eight, but definitely very, very, uh, very up and coming, just like the PvE list, where a lot of people were rating her very highly for Void Tower. She provides the exact same thing, giving you that full round to kind of, if you're running Windstrex, refresh your spells and such. Very, very solid character and not too surprised to see her at number eight, but definitely, definitely up and coming. All right, so let's jump into the seventh, sixth, and fifth slot. So number seven is going to be Blackhorn with 26 votes. Number six is going to be Evera with 31 votes. And number five is going to be Corrupt Orac at 37 votes. So number seven, Blackhorn, um, you know, he's just the go-to, oftentimes paired with Mythasia and a lot of the other tank comp pieces, the best healer in the game. He doesn't revive though, and that's, I think, a big downside specifically for Arena, because oftentimes if you're getting bursted out, the revive is what kills the offensive comps, because you oftentimes, Hakren and things like that will go ahead and smack you back and take out one to two of your characters. And at that point, with the Methasia revive and all the heals and such, you're just going to not have enough damage in order for you to finish off everyone. So I think Blackhorn's a step down from Methasia, uh, definitely. But honestly, very, very solid in that tank comp. Number six, Evra. I think this is a perfect spot for her. I think she's the best arena offense unit uh, besides your Ryan and uh perhaps darken the klaus uh, and simply for the fact that she's going to go ahead and double aoe on the first wave which is very very useful for you know obviously getting that first clear but also she has one of the best affinities in arena for taking out tank comps wood tends to be very very important uh, for handling hacker and black War, as well as being solid against Methasia. Uh, that's really the problem is taking out all three of those because you don't want to use a water-based damage dealer to take out Methasia and you don't really want to use a uh, uh, fire-based damage dealer because they're really weak against hacker and Blackhorn. So Evera is perfect for that slot. Number five, Corrupt Orac. I'm very sad to see him this low. <laughs> um, I think he's absolutely broken with that Rebel set. And I think that's where a lot of people are underrating him. Again, they don't have LD units. They probably haven't seen Corrupt Orac too much. Or perhaps they just haven't seen the Rebel set. I think being having an uncounterable, uh, perhaps, stun that messes up both offense and defense before you can even take a turn is something so broken uh, that you really can't uh, underrate it because it really will mess up. It always has a chance to mess up your offensive comp if obviously it's not as uh, kind of stable or consistent as uh, you would like it to be. So I very, very highly rate Corrupt Orac here and honestly, uh, kind of surprised to see it at number five. But again, as with this list, a lot of people from a lot of areas definitely gonna have different opinions. So then we're gonna jump into the four, three, and two slot. Um, and number four is going to be Hakron at 38 votes. Number three is going to be Asia at 39 votes. And number two is going to be Windstrex at 46 votes. So number four with Hakron, I think a lot of people uh, overrate Hakron <laughs> and a lot of people underrate Hakron, to be honest, in Arena. Um, I think that he's a core component of the tank team. And so I think he's definitely, definitely uh, should be on the list here and definitely in the top 10, but I don't think he's quite as high as a lot of people think uh, in this case. I think that he is ex exceptional for boosting that tank comp, and honestly, in a lot of other comps, I use him on my arena stall offense comp because he just boosts my damage dealers so that they don't just die from random damage, and he's just overall an amazing character, and if the battle goes long, he is absolutely insane. But he does do like get nerfed a lot with the defense down and things like that, so if you're able to go ahead and have the stats to nuke. He definitely takes a big hit there. And he's not overly, overly broken. But I think definitely in the early to mid game, he is a massive, massive pain because you just do not have the damage and the stats to compete against him. And I think that's where he gets kind of uh, the number four slot. Although I think he's a little overrated here. He's definitely, definitely uh, worthy of being on the top 10 in my opinion. Number three with Methasia. I think this is a perfect spot for her, uh, to be honest, or around this area. I think that Methasia is honestly the core problem uh, of a lot of the um, arena defensive comps. Methasia plus Hakron. The fact that Methasia is an HP-based healer. She can stack a 
bunch of HP, and then Hakrin sharing his awesome defense with Methasia, and Methasia just turns out to be this insane tank, perhaps with Dragon Scale from a lot of those late game arena, and she is just a hassle, hassle to kill. And then if you don't kill her, but you happen to kill all the other ones, everyone's going to revive. And it just, it goes on forever and you'll probably lose. <laughs> so definitely, definitely a huge pain and one of the worst things to fight on arena defense. Number two with Winstrex, I think this is definitely, definitely where it should be. I think that even if you're an early, mid, late game player, I think there's always a place for Winstrex. It really just depends on the quality of your gear. Uh, even if you have and you are running a tank comp, I've seen Winstrex on defense uh, where you want to get that first turn, get the hacker and max HP stacking, maybe get the brand bucks going. And it honestly makes some arena defense comps stronger than if not having Winstrex in them. But obviously, this is more catered towards the early to mid game. But I think even in late game, when you have Winstrex and you have the stats to back it up, you can absolutely run Winstrex and just nuke through the arena defensive comps. I think that's absolutely viable and definitely, definitely earns the number two spot, in my opinion. Uh, you could probably rate, rate her a little bit lower here, uh, but I think that number two spot is honestly perfectly fine. And then... Lo, lo and behold, number one here, it is going to be Brand at 47 votes. So I think that Brand is definitely worthy of the top 10 spot, in my opinion. I think that he's very high up in the list, but I would not rate him number one. Uh, I think that that is a little bit of an overrating for a lot of people, but it's still very, very good. And honestly, I don't have too much of a problem with number one at Brand. Uh, he's just a monster on the defensive portion of your arena defense comp with the shields, with the defense up, and all that good stuff. He is just an absolute monster, makes so many things more complicated. When you put him in the arena defensive comp, you now have a mix of all three affinities with the Hakrin, Methasia, and Brand, which is generally what we see. And then it starts to become a real hassle, which is why your Ryan is rated so highly, in my opinion. So definitely not surprised to see Brand at number one. But I think that there are a few other game-changing arena units that can be put in front of him personally. Uh, and we're going to go over those in just a moment. But I think that Brand at number one is not surprising at all. So... We're going to go ahead and jump into my top 10 list in just a second here. Uh, but let me know what you all think about the community voted perspective. I think that overall it's a solid list. Um, I think that there's a couple things that I would change. And maybe I have some hot takes in my top 10 list. You'll have to tell me otherwise when we get to it. But I think that overall it's a very solid list. Let's go ahead and jump into mine. All right, so here we are. And we're going to go ahead and jump into my top 10 list. This is just from my experience and from what I've seen and what I feel like is not only going to be a massive, massive pain or advantage on arena offense and defense, but actually what I think is going to be high pick uh, potential for RTA in the future. So we're going to start off with the number 10 through 8, and that's going to be Godfrey, Nathalia, and Hakrin. So number 10 is going to be Godfrey, number 9 is Nathalia, number 8 is Hakrin. And I think Godfrey was a little underrated last time because I think he's a very, very good select pvp counter and he does so well at that that i think he does earn a spot on the list uh personally especially on offense uh, i think if you are using him you could definitely use really really well with him but i think that on defense he kind of takes a little bit of a hit because you can just stun him and prevent him from using his passive uh number nine of Nathalie is the exact same as everyone else rated i think that she's a very solid dps and i think that she does have a spot in the top 10 but i think that she's a little worse than the other ones and then number eight, Hakrin, I think this is a better spot for him because I think that the other parts of the tank comp really uh, basically make up the tank comp. And the Hakrin is sort of like the glue uh, that holds all the pieces, the power pieces together um, in just having like this amazing, massively tanky squad. But I don't think that he's a power pick necessarily. I think that once you have the other pieces in spots uh, in place, then you can pick your Hakrin and just kind of mold everything together to be really, really strong. Then we have the number 7 through 5th spot, spot here, and that's going to be Evra, Methasia, and Winstrex. Evra at 7, Methasia at 6, and Winstrex at 5. Um, I think that Evra is very, very solid, but a little lower than number 6 on the player voted list. And then Methasia at number 6, I just, I think that she's awesome, and I think that she's really, really solid at what she does. But I think there's a couple of uh, very underrated characters on the player voted list which is why she's lower. It's not that I think that she's poor. It's just that I think that there are other characters that are criminally underrated on the player voted list. 
And then when strikes at five, I think this is a better spot for her. I think that she's very, very good throughout the whole game. Getting 50 speed is no joke, as well as attack buff. And it just makes new comps significantly easier to build out and, and run much, much easier. And overall, that's pretty much where I think that she should be. So then we're going to jump into number four, three, and two slot. And number four, we have your Ryan. Uh, number three of brand and number two we have darkened nicklaus so i think that number four your ryan i think this is where he should be i think that he is a massive massive nuker and the best for arena simply for that 30 precision bonus as well as permanent elemental advantage assume you're running against a tank comp yes you're going to get a little bit more damage out of evra against specific characters but your ryan's going to get a overall more damage because of the elemental advantage that he's bringing against everyone as well as almost never being deflected because of the fact that he has that 30 precision so not only were will when you run evra you're going to get stopped by things like brand and you may get deflected by mythasia if you're running your ryan you're almost never going to get deflected by anyone because of the elemental advantage plus the precision up it's just absolutely massive and i think that he's amazing in arena Three with Brand, I think this is perfect. He's super good on offense, super good on defense, but I do not think that he's the absolute best. I think that the LD legends here really take the cake uh, for PvP. I think they're a little underrated on the P on the player voted list, but I do think that the LD legends, this is where they specialize for, and this is where they really shine is in arena. So I think that Brand drops down a couple of slots simply because I think that uh, the LD legends take the cake. Number two with Darken the Klaus. So this one, maybe my number one and number two are hot takes for you all. <laughs> well, you'll have to let me know in the comments. I think Darken the Klaus here is very, very underrated, not only for PvP, but also PvE. I think that the Klaus is, uh, Darken the Klaus specifically, is just absolutely amazing. I think that uh, you oftentimes can manipulate it where he does get the low HP on offense and defense because you're fighting against bots. So they're not oftentimes going to get through that, that uh, you know, depth immunity. And if he gets one turn at low HP, he should be able to wipe out the entire enemy team, no questions asked. He works amazingly in arena defense. He becomes a major, major threat that you do need to know about and handle if you're fighting him on offense. And if you're fighting him with offense or with him on offense, you can manipulate the AI into where the rest of your team dies, but you still have, you know, maybe attack up and defense down on the enemies. Or maybe you could just run someone like uh, Yolanda and Mythasia or something like that, where they have really low HP and you can keep them alive with shields and maybe damage up or something like that. All those combinations make Niklaus, Dark and Niklaus, very, very good in my eyes and definitely the number two spot. So then we have the number one spot, in my opinion, and this just has to be Corrupt Orac for me. Um, this, you know, maybe it's again, a super hot take, but I think that corrupt or is insanely good and not counterable pretty much. Um, I think that you could stack just a bunch of focus on him. Some people told me, uh, that they've had the experience of rebel set getting resisted, but if you stack a bunch of focus and HP on him, he's almost unkillable as well as just having that constant true damage hit as well as having uh, a potential chance to stun your entire team before you even go every single round it is just oppressive in arena offense and defense uh less so on arena offense really on arena defense is where this guy shines and i think an rta is going to be a monster pick power pick for rta you have to let me know again if you think this if you disagree um this is going to be my top 10 list and that's what i think for pvp i think that uh generally the list is pretty in line with what a lot of people think i think the only thing where i differ is the ld legends were with your ryan dark and Klaus, and corrupt orac i think your ryan isn't really a hot take i think a lot of people who have used him kind of understand how and why he's super good but dark and Klaus and corrupt orac maybe that is just uh my opinion and maybe i'm overrating them here but I do think that they are super strong. Uh, so you'll have to convince me otherwise if you think the other way. So that'll be it for this list. Uh, let me know what you all think. Let me know if you want to see this list, the PvP version in the future. I don't know if I'm going to do it every month, maybe every other month. Uh, because arena metas tend to kind of stay the same for a while. And PvP, PvE rather uh, is changing a lot because of all the new content and the new characters entering the game. So that'll be it for this one. And I will see you in the next one.